Ukraine's security service and main directorate of intelligence under the defense ministry were behind the attack on Russian Nizhnykamsk oil refinery in Tatarstan on Tuesday morning, Ukrainian media reported, with reference to unnamed sources within the intelligence department. A Ukrainian long-range drone hit the primary oil processing facility at the Nizhnykamsk refinery, after which fire broke out there, according to the report. The capacity of this processing unit is 8 million tons of oil, which amounts to 2.6% of the total annual refining of the Russian Federation per year. In addition, this plant is among the five largest refineries in Russia. We continue to work systematically to ensure that Russia has fewer and fewer opportunities to finance the war of aggression against Ukraine. We will continue to cut off oxygen to the gas station country in order to minimize the flow of petrodollars to the military budget of the Russian Federation, the source told media. According to Baza, at least three people were injured at the refinery. This is the Taniko oil refinery in the city of Nizhnykamsk in the Republic of Tatarstan. The region's governor confirmed the attack on the refinery, but in his statement, he did not specify the name of the refinery that was attacked. Russian media has confirmed that Nizhnykamsk oil refinery was hit, while stressing that the technological process was not disrupted. The Russian media also claimed that drones allegedly attacked a hostel in a special economic zone of Alabuga, and that two people were injured during the attack. Ukraine in recent months has stepped up attacks on Russia's oil refiners in a bid to impact Kremlin's highly lucrative trade in refined products. Kiev believes its drone attacks on Russia, the world's second largest oil producer, are justified because Ukraine has suffered large-scale damage to its infrastructure from Russian airstrikes since the start of Russia's full-fledged invasion of the country in February 2022. NATO general warns of Russian trap for Ukraine. Moscow has forced Kiev to choose between losing men or territory, according to retired French general Jerome Pellistrandi, the editor-in-chief of the Review Defense Nationale. In an interview for the French outlet Le Depeche, Pellistrandi pointed out that Russian forces have made advances ever since the Ukrainians' chaotic retreat from Abdiivka in mid-February and are now approaching Chasov Yar and Kharkov. Moscow has in fact presented a tactical dilemma to the Ukrainian command, forcing it to choose between protecting territory at the risk of taking significant losses or retreating and thus giving up ground, Pelistrandi said. In addition to advances west of Avdiivka, Russian troops recently took the town of Ivanivsky, 
West of Bakhmut, the general noted, this reflects this desire to exhaust the enemy, he said. Moscow knows very well that Kiev lacks artillery shells and by relentlessly shelling these territories, President Vladimir Putin is ultimately preventing the Ukrainians from rebuilding their defenses. This is a way of forcing them to give up ground and exhaust their stock of weapons. According to Pelistrandi, Russian troops are aiming for both Chasov Yar and Kramatorsk, a key crossroads for Ukrainian logistics in Donbass. Its loss would be dramatic for Kiev and pose serious strategic and logistical difficulties, he said. Kharkov also came under heavy bombardment last week, Pelistrandi said, adding that Ukraine is on the defensive along the entire front and urgently needs more ammunition. Review Defense Nationale is considered France's preeminent military publication. Founded in 1939, it is traditionally led by a general officer. Pelistrandi has been editor-in-chief since 2014. In 2022, he also joined the French outlet BFM-TV as a military expert.